With almost a million views, this clip of Sam Harris is now blowing up and lots of people are upset. Let's tune in to what he said. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared, right? It's like, it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden, right? It's not, it's like, it's not Joe Biden. Even if Joe, like, even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like, if, you, if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right? Or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. It's like it's like it's like a firefly to, to the sun, right? I mean, like there, there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University, right? Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in in Hunter Biden's laptop, in my view, right? Now that's not that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy, that's a left-wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely it was, absolutely, right? But I think it was warranted, right? And, I'm, and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not- Sam, I'm sorry. That particular piece I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry. I, I Man, when you start picking which wrong is right, I think you already lost. Uh, two wrongs don't make a right. This is, let's see what this guy has to say, but. I was the one that said we should move yeah, on, yeah. but you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle Go with there, it. which is the you kid, the support- kid, the, kid, the kids in the basement? You No, no, <laughs> fuck yeah. the kids in the basement. <laughs> I'm interested yeah. in democracy. You're saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content, well, so it's, but the thing is it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing. He just said it was a left-wing conspiracy. He just said that. <laughs> Right. Liz Cheney is doing everything in her power to prevent somebody. No. Being and actually, that's just a divergence from the actual topic at hand that this guy's addressing. Is he got the straw? He's got a straw man. Him. But Democratic it, it's not like, no, but there's nothing conspiracy. It's not it, it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does. But it doesn't matter if it was. A, it doesn't matter what parts conspiracy, what parts out in the open. I mean, I think it's like if people get together and talk and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon, you know, if, if it's like, if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth. He's, and he's totally changing the topic and straw manning this guy. Holy cow, I can't believe he said that. Hey, look, if, if you're going to get in front of people and talk for hours and hours and hours and hours, you're bound to say something stupid at some point. And I think this is Sam having his moment. What do you think? This podcast clip of Sam Harris recently went viral and people are livid with him, but he just took to Twitter to defend himself. So let's tune in to what he has to say. There is a podcast clip circulating that seems to be confusing many people about my views on Trump, which is understandable because I wasn't speaking very clearly. So for what it's worth, here's what I was trying to say. I was essentially arguing for a principle of self-defense where there's a continuum of proportionate force that is appropriate and necessary to use. I've always viewed Trump as a very dangerous person to elect as a president of a fake university. And actually, let's go ahead and talk about this fake university story because I didn't know this was a thing. So in summation, Trump started a university in 2005. It ended up being sort of a scam that didn't have much education and he got sued eventually and had to pay a $25 million settlement to the people who attended the university for 07, 08, 09, and 2010. That's, that's basically the story. And with the way Sam is treating this, like dead kids in a basement wouldn't be as bad as a scam, which we've seen tons of scams like this that provided bad education. I don't, I don't know if I can get on board with that. That's a bit far-fetched for me, especially since we don't actually even know what was on the laptop. So you're comparing some, you're comparing an unknown to a known, which is already not a fair comparison to even make. And like I said in the previous video, if you're picking which wrong is right, I think you, you've already lost. I don't I don't understand why he would choose to die on this hill. And I mean, to be fair, I said scam, but if we look at the legalities here, it says deceptive practices are what led to the $25 million settlement. So just taking that for the legal definition, I'm not sure if that justifies you saying that that is worse than finding dead kids in a basement, which is literally what he said. I mean, Hunter Biden, at that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. So, I mean, let's hear what else he has to say in part two, because this is getting a little long. This is the final part of the podcast clip that went viral with Sam Harris. If you wanna see the other parts, go visit my profile. I've always viewed Trump as a very dangerous person to elect as president of a fake university, let alone the US, and we became a sitting president who would not commit to peaceful transfer of power. I viewed him as more dangerous still. 
However, I've not been under any illusion that he is Orange Hitler. On the podcast, I was speaking narrowly about the wisdom and propriety of ignoring the Hunter Biden laptop story until after the election. I've always thought that it was a very hard call ethically and journalistically. But given what happened with the Anthony Wheeler laptop in the previous election, I think it was probably the right call. Nothing I said in the, on the podcast was meant to suggest that the Democrats would have been right to commit election fraud or take other illegal measures to deny Trump the presidency, nor do I think that they did that. That's a, just a conspiracy. That's a left wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Okay, then basically he's doubling down. I think the unsophisticated thing to do would be say, okay, since he said this dumb thing, Sam Harris is a fake intellectual. What an idiot. I can't believe he'd say something so stupid. I mean, Sam is obviously a smart guy and I like lots of the things he spoke about in the past, opinions he's had. I think he articulates things usually fairly well. However, I could not disagree with him more in this instance. This total sleight of hand with bringing up previous stories like the fake university or the Alex Wiener laptop to justify the idea or the potential of a conspiracy that did occur to prevent democracy and the election of a president is just ridiculous. You're supposed to be an intellectual heavyweight. You host a podcast called Making Sense, and here you are talking about hiding inconvenient truths for political gains. We don't even know it was on the Hunter Biden laptop. That's what's really blowing my mind. He's just blindly saying that that was the right decision without even knowing what was on it just because it wasn't actually Biden. It, you know, it would be ridiculous to assume that a, a son would have some connections with his father, especially when they're, you know, one's a lawyer and one's a politician. Definitely no connections there, even though though the family has some connected business interests. No, 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 no connections can be drawn there. What doesn't matter at all. Can you think how ridiculous that is to even just say, uh, Sam, I wanna be on your side and I absolutely cannot be. That's what I think. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below.